I love celebrating 100th birthdays with our members, and Bill Jamerson's is no exception. Hi, I'm Connie Vandeman Jeffrey, and this is All God's People. Earlier this month, Carson City, Nevada resident Bill Jamerson celebrated his 100th birthday with family and friends. Family members gave speeches about his life's accomplishments, and he was given a pin from a general in the Army. Bill Jamerson is one of the few living veterans who served in the Battle of the Bulge in World War II. He's a highly decorated combat medic who devoted his life to others after his military service. After marrying his wife, June, at age 22, the couple would go on to travel as missionaries to Peru and Bolivia. His children and many others look up to him for being a role model and teaching others the importance of helping those in need. Bill and June also hold the record for being the longest living married couple in Nevada history. They've been married for 77 years. From participating in the Battle of the Bulge and tending wounded soldiers on the battlefield, to preaching the gospel and pulling teeth in Bolivia, to developing programs for children and youth, to praying for the sick and witnessing miraculous healings, Bill has spent his life working for the Lord. His life is the subject of the book, It's Great to Be Alive Because He Lives. Happy 100th birthday, dear Bill Jamerson, and thank you for your service. We are pleased to announce that the Executive Committee of the Southeastern California Conference has elected Andrea King as the Vice President of Black Ministries. Pastor King most recently served as the Communication and Media Director for Southeastern California Conference. Congratulations, Andrea. We will continue to keep you in prayer as you step into this new role. Ephesus Church and their Adventist Community Service Center in South Los Angeles are known and loved by the community for their acts of service. When Donovan Giles became the senior pastor in 2022, his first conversation with Diva Jones Moses, Community Services Director, made it evident he was walking into a service-minded congregation. One thing that pastors who knew about the church always told me was, this is a working church, Pastor Giles said. I can attest to that because on my first Sabbath, Sister Diva welcomed me and then told me about the food distribution coming up. It was clear this church is dedicated to service and that she has a heart for service. Clients come on Mondays for free clothes and shoes from the closet and to receive showers and hot plates of spaghetti. Through the years, the church has been affectionately known as the Spaghetti Church by regulars. The food pantry, open on the fourth Thursday of each month, welcomes guests to choose from fresh produce, canned goods, hygiene products, and more. Thank you, Ephesus Church, for impacting lives in South Los Angeles. Read the article and watch the video at the links in the description box. The February recorder should be in your homes and it's also available online in English and in Spanish. This month, we celebrate the beginnings of black ministries in the West. There are wonderful articles about P.G. Rogers, the builder of Black Adventism, and the pioneering work of Charles Kinney and others. And be sure to check out the items on sale at AdventistBookCenter.com to celebrate Black History Month. Historical books, stories, contemporary studies, and music are always available and are specially priced right now. Authors include Charles E. Bradford, Heather Thompson Day, Ricardo Graham, Hyveth Williams, and many more. The link is in the description box. Thanks so much for joining us today. For All God's People, I'm Connie Jeffrey.